Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Adam. Thanks for hanging out with me again today. And on today's video, we're going to be building the Tamiya Pajero. So this is on the CW01 chassis, lunchbox, midnight pumpkin, that type of chassis. Um, this one has the much smaller wheels and tires on there. I had to get this one. I love the CW01 chassis. I love all the different cars and trucks on it. I'm just not sold on the wheels and tires yet. Maybe once we get it built, it'll grow on me and we'll run it around like that. I will get it out and run it with the stock wheels and tires on there just to give it a fair chance. Um, but I do have the white Pajero wheels and uh, lunchbox tires ready to go if I want to swap them over. Now, I do know you need to have the front spindles or the uprights, uh, depending on what you want to call them. But basically, they're a little bit longer for the lunchbox wheels or P the Pajero wheels for the bigger tires. Um, so you will need those and swap those out uh, to be able to do it. I am pretty sure I've got a pair around here somewhere. I just can't find them. So I've ordered a new set. They'll be here in a little while. So we'll get it built stock, take a look at it. Um, I'll get everything laid out on the bench, do a quick once over of it. And then we're just gonna do a picture montage of the build. Uh, I'm not gonna describe it step by step. It's a lunchbox, it's super simple. Um, so we'll do that and we'll come back as soon as I have that built. Alright guys, so we do have the chassis all put together. It's a CW01 chassis. Everything went together very well. Straightforward, no issues. Uh, does have the oil field dampers on here, so you do have to pay attention to fronts and backs. The Basically, they're identical. The only thing difference is the backs have two O-rings additional inside as spacers, um, so they don't have quite as much travel. So you hit the bump stop in the rear before you hit the bump stop in the front. Um, so other than that, they're you know same pistons, same bodies, same everything. Uh, so all of it was pretty easy. You just have to check your links before you put them on. As always, I built all four at the same time. I still think it's silly that they put, you know, step 12, build these shocks, and then step 18, build the other shocks. I just ignore it and build both sets at the same time. Anyway, um, switch, not a great spot for it, so we just double side taped it to the chassis there. Should be accessible with the body on, so don't have to mess with it too much. Uh, ESC put it up here because the short wires need to get as far up so we can get the wires back here to the motor. Got them zip tied to the motor as it per says in the manual. Um, overall, it doesn't look terrible. Now, I do have to say, uh, those tires are hard as a rock. Knew they were gonna be. Um, they just don't have any give to them. The sidewalls are so stiff on these tires um, that, you know, this thing is going to be bouncing all over the place, even with the wall shocks. Um, I think 
<laughs> the I think the stock lunchbox with friction dampers and the big balloon tires is probably a better running thing than this is going to be. But we'll see. I did blast on a few coats of, this is the Italian red uh, paint. I don't remember what the PS number is right here. Uh, so we do have the base coats on here. So it is nice shiny now. Uh, the stock plastic is kind of dull and the uh, So blasting on a few coats of the Italian red is yeah, a big uh, difference. And you don't have to be super accurate. Um, since the body is red and the Italian red is basically the same color, just has some shine to it. You know, don't get too fussy about getting all up into the cracks and stuff back here. You're just probably going to end up getting drips and runs if you try to blast it too hard. So I just put on, I think, three light coats and it looks great. We do have the roll bar that's still needed and the spare tire cover and headlight or the roll bar lights and all that stuff that'll go on after we get everything painted uh, there's an awful lot of hand painting or you could do it with masking i just don't feel like wasting the time to put all the masking on for each individual part i'm just going to hand paint everything so you have silver and black on the bumpers you have black for the grip black on the surrounds of the windows and then back here, you basically have the cargo box. Uh, makes room for, I guess, the old school battery. Um, it's not really needed now because your battery now goes way down here. Um, but you have, basically, it gave room for a seven cell battery pack up in the uh, back of the car. So you have this big, I guess it's like a travel trunk and another thing and a gas can. So I think the big trunk is, or crate, I guess maybe it is, is um, deck tan. And then there's uh, different colors for the other stuff. But, you know, there's like four or five different colors on here. So it is going to take a while. And, you know, it's just a lot of hand painting. So I'll be working on that during the week. And we'll get that done. But overall, this went together fine. Still not a big fan of the wheels and tires. Wheels look great. Tires, they're just the most worst, awfulest tire to me ever made. They're plastic. Anywho, not going to rant on that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the little build video. Um, like I said, I'll get, keep working on the body and get that kind of detailed up and ready to go. Uh, still need to put the windshield in, of course, the roll bar and all that stuff. But I think once we get that done, this will look a whole lot better. This won't be a big shiny red thing on a, a truck chassis. So until then, everybody out there, you guys be happy, be healthy, be safe, and I will catch you on the next one. See you guys.